Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to set up Sublime Text 3 for Python in Windows 10. So Sublime Text is one of the most popular code editors out there. It has some great features such as a nice layout, auto-completion, syntax highlight, and etc. And at the same time, it is lightweight, fast, and stable. Though with so many great features, Sublime is not always beginner-friendly for environment setup for some languages. I've heard some complaints from some other Python developers about the struggles to set up the environment correctly, and so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Sublime Text 3 for Python in Windows. So the first thing you're going to do in order to install Sublime Text 3 is you want to go to Sublime's official website, which is www.sublimetext.com to download Sublime Text 3 for Windows. And uh, once the download is complete, you want to uh, go to the download folder, double click the installation file, and start the installation process. And the installation is the same with any other program installation, so it is pretty straightforward. So I'm not going to show, I'm not going to go into the details here. And before you properly uh, set up the environment variable, you'll notice that you can't run Python in Sublime Text. So now I'm going to show you how to set up Sublime for Python. And the first thing you're going to do is you want to open up your Python IDLE, so right here. You're going to open that. And once you have this open, you want to click File and Open. And at this top right here, uh, you want to click and make sure it's highlighted in blue. And you want to copy it with Control C. And this is the path where Python is installed on your computer. So make sure you've copied that. Then you can close it. You can minimize this. And in your uh, search, you want to search environment variables. And here the best match for me is edit the system environment variables. So I'll click that. And now uh, we have this um, little window. And here under advanced, make sure you click environment variables right here. And under system variables down below, we can scroll down until we find this path. And uh, once we find the path, we want to click this right side of the path. Or actually, it doesn't even matter where we click. Oh, yeah. So we can click this path, and you want to click Edit. Now that you've clicked Edit, you can click New, and paste the previous, and yeah, and paste the uh, Python path into there. Once you've pasted that, you can click OK. But I've already added, uh, I've already added the uh, Python path, so I don't need to add a new one, but once you've pasted it, you want to click OK, OK, OK. And now that you have that, let's actually go into Sublime Text, and if you have Sublime Text already open and you just made that change, you might want to close it and reopen it to uh, refresh, so I'll do that. Sublime Text 3. And now, let's create a simple Python uh, code. So print hello world and I'll save this with control s and I'll save it as first program dot py so I'll save yep. save and now under tools build system you want to make sure you select python or you can select automatic but if you're just mainly coding in python this would be a better option and now, once we have saved this uh, code, you want to click Control B. And that's just going to run our code. And here we have uh, printed Hello World. So that's basically it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.